on the weekend, James Dooms just came down and he was trying to get a Sam Stag with his bow. So I think what I'm going to do is just overlay some footage while I'm talking just to try and put it into context a bit. So right now, we're just watching a few young deer and then we ended up glassing up a very nice stag. No, he actually might not be as big as I thought. Just seeing him side on. He's still good. He's walking to the right. They always look better from behind. But if we can see where he beds, we might be able to get to him with a bow, maybe. Friggin' preaching right behind this friggin' drain, I can't even see it. God damn it. And this camera because I run it over. It's bloody not cooperating. He was definitely a mature stag and it was just awesome just watching him just go about his thing and unfortunately you're probably wondering why the camera is wobbling so much right now and that is because the afternoon prior with James I actually ran over my camera so all the tripod mount underneath the bottom of it was all busted up and the camera even at the moment still isn't sitting properly on the tripod so that was a little bit unfortunate but anyway we finished watching that big stag we glassed up a couple of other deer but it was just nothing was going to pan out how we wanted to we really wanted a situation where it was on some burnt country where he could drop in on top of it and basically i could video from a distance and you know he could stalk in and hopefully get the shot now this this actually worked out we located a probably a 20-ish inch stag he was just coming out of velvet and he he was bedded, so it was really, you know, things were really playing into our favour. At the time, it was quite windy. So James started stalking down to it, and I just watched it all unfold on the camera. And unfortunately, James was, it must have been about 40 minutes or so, he was sitting 15 metres from this bedded stag, and he just did not have a shot. And at the end of all this, like, you'll see the stag bust him because the wind changes. At the end of it all, I was like, man, like did you have a shot earlier and he's like yeah i had one at 35 but i just felt like it was too far so props to james for not taking a shot that he was conf like he wasn't confident in so anyway he could have had a shot at 35 he didn't wanted to get in closer so he got into 15 and it just didn't work out for him so that was a bit of a bugger um i had to get back home after that hunt it was sort of late morning by that stage so I, I bailed and James ended up going for another afternoon hunt at a different spot and he didn't see any deer that afternoon before he had to make his long drive back home. A couple of days later, I decided I wanted to go out for another hunt and that's where this video kicks off again. So I'm not sure how you guys want these videos, whether you want basically my full week of hunting just compiled into one and I'll do a better job next time at actually doing some background information on what's actually going on but rather than type it out I thought I might try and explain it and that might make a little bit more sense so anyway hope you enjoy
haven't got much footage though because the camera's been strapped to the backpack and I've just been trying to find this stag so anyway I'm gonna make my way back up to the top of the ridge do a bit more glassing and if if I have no luck I'll just come out and do another afternoon hunt I was just walking back to the car and I've seen a cracker so I'm just sneaking around, hopefully he hasn't seen me. I was just walking through the bloody open paddock. like he's down. <laughs> it's just funny how some things work out. I was making my way wet. I was making my way back to the car. I literally just said to the camera that it'd been kind of quiet. I was looking for a stag that my brother and I had seen a couple of weeks earlier. I'm all out to the car. I'm in the middle of the paddock and I turn around and all I can see in this tiny little clearing is this friggin' antler. And I'm like, holy shit, that's the stag. Anyway, he's looking at me and the two dogs walking through the paddock. So I drop down out of his view, set the camera up in, basically, I'm right underneath this tree. The camera hasn't moved, so I've set it up, told the dogs to stay, and then I've just crept in. And all I had on camera was pretty much just his antlers because I didn't want a heap in his view. And I dropped down out of his view, so my theory was maybe he's looking at the camera. He can't see me. Anyway, I made it to this little sapling, took a rest. Don't even know how far the shot was. It might have been like 120 yards or something. Whew. Looks like he's got a bit of length there too. So I'm pretty keen to go over and have a look at him. But I'm just giving him a bit of time. I saw him do a bit of kicking, but I could not get a second shot in because he's in a bit of shrub. So I'm just sort of waiting a little bit but the shot felt pretty good and yeah we'll go go get a look i'll put probably probably put the gopro on one of the dogs and i can run up and yeah friggin hell <laughs> it's been a cracker of a year for me so far but admittedly i've been doing a lot of hunting and i guess while i'm here i'll just try and tell you guys my plan and that's I plan on trying to do a video a week and whether it's successful unsuccessful a review uh, a discussion about something whatever it may be that's my plan feel free to comment below your thoughts on that if you have any ideas or any topics you want me to talk about I'm just sort of trying to yeah trying to get a video out a week it's so far I've sort of been doing that and you know I'm not coming out here just to kill a deer every week for to put a video up if I'm unsuccessful I plan on doing it I've just I'm just having a bit of a purple patch at the moment where everything seems to be going my way so I'm gonna keep that up and yeah just let me go let me know what you guys think about yeah doing a video a week and if you have any suggestions just chuck them down below so I'm pretty sure that's his carcass in there I just wanted to get a bit of elevation and try and get eyes on him again just to make sure he was dead and it looks like he is when I chuck when I check the camera in manual zoom, I think I can see a very dead stag, so that's always a good sign, so I'm going to head in there now.
definitely getting a little bit worried. The closer I get, the smaller he's looking. But I swear I could see some length when I shot him, so... It's a moment of truth. Rem's already seen him on the GoPro. <laughs> cool. Oh no, he's... It's not as big as I thought. Oh, he's still a nice deer. I actually think it is the same deer that my brother and I saw. The first one it was, but I think it is pretty cool. Well, I've just finished trying to get some photos. <laughs> It's a bit hard with two dogs, as you can probably tell. But yeah, did the best I could. He's definitely not as big as I thought he was. I don't know why I thought he was probably at least 27, but looking at him, he might be 25, 26. Big brows, and it's definitely the same stag that my brother and I saw the other week. So I guess that's kind of cool. He's been wallowing, and I don't know what you can see there. Perfect shot placement. That was the entry I believe yeah entry so very good shot placement happy with that the shot was only like 120 yards so anyway time to start getting this boy sorted and I'm just wondering whether I cut him up here or try and get him down to the base of this gully and then deal with him so I'm not 100% sure yet but I'll work that out pretty soon <laughs>